The Northern Youth Liberation Forum wishes to put it on record that the Vice President, Yemi Oshibanjo, is a religious by God who abhors any other form of religious practices other than Christianity. We have gathered this much through his actions and inactions in his capacity as the Vice President. It is also a known fact that the Vice President has been very vindictive towards Muslims of Northern extraction because they do not share the same faith and ethnicity. This is indeed sad and therefore an insult to the sensibilities of all Muslims and Northerners in the country. It can only be imagined that what Northern Muslims in Nigeria should expect if such a man becomes president of Nigeria. The implication is that Northern Nigeria will experience ethnic and religious cleansing due to the vindictive nature of the Vice President, Yemi Oshibanjo. We wish to inform all stakeholders in Northern Nigeria that under no circumstances should they trust Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo in his quest for the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC. At this critical point of our existence, having a personality like Yemi Oshibanjo will do the country more harm than good. Even though he parades himself as a pastor, tangible evidence indicates unquenchable hatred for Northern Nigeria and Islam. This is unacceptable and the reason why the North should trade carefully regarding extending any form of support to the presidential aspiration of Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo and the build up to the 2023 general elections. The Northern Youth Liberation Forum is using this medium to call on all delegates from Northern Nigeria to shun the presidential aspiration of Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo by refusing to identify with his presidential aspiration. This is necessary to ensure that Northern Nigeria is not subjected to untold persecution in the hands of Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo. Worst hatred for the regions knows no bound. We are also concerned that Muslims in Northern Nigeria and other parts of the country will suffer extensive psychological damage should Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo be elected as the president of this country. 